and take it, hook it around one side, pull across. This part can go pretty quick, so you're just going to pull. After I complete this last step, we'll show you how to use this. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. So we just have to finish those and then I can show you how to use this. Now remember how I said to leave these empty. Here's why. So we're gonna do this last hook. What you wanna do is you wanna count on each side and make sure there's the same amount. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's perfect. Now you're gonna match those up. So instead of going this way, we're now gonna go the long way. So we'll start with this one right here. Now you're gonna to go to that right there. Okay, we'll start right here. Only three left, and then we can show you how to use it. Let's give you guys a better view. Put it right around there. We stretch it all the way over here. And we have the last one. So here we go. Right around there. Follow it. Okay. So what we have here is almost a hundred screws going around a toilet seat. And then a bunch of rubber bands going that way and that way. But what is this for? That is the cool part. Excited to show you guys. So I'm going to set the camera back up and we're going to show you how to use this. We're going to take this homemade pasta. You can get rid of this spoon. And we're going to take it and pour it right into the toilet. Notice how it collects all the pasta perfectly right on top. Now what you want to do is you want to take this lid, you're going to bring it down and give it a good push. That will drain even more water out. If you disconnect it back here, you can pick it up and now you can bring it right to the kitchen.